Hello, everyone. RDC here. Hey everyone, it's Naj, and today we're here with All American Season Six, Episode Two. Um, and obviously, what's your rating for this episode? <laughs> I'll have to give it like a probably like a five or six. Something. It's way lower than the premiere. Like I, I enjoyed the premiere. I feel like this episode was a step back. Um, but yeah. Yeah, I'll I honestly it. think I'll probably I'll probably give it like a five. Um, or <laughs> because I feel like so much supposedly happened, but it didn't feel like it. It feels like a filler episode, and I feel yeah. like we're at a point where we have thirteen episodes, and it feels like this episode shouldn't have even existed. There was nothing progressing, and in, instead for conflicts that is basically repetitive, annoying, and it's just to spark up debates with this like, oh, which side is right or wrong when in reality every character is right in some way yeah um and i just hate that it just feels like something that i would see in like season four or the beginning of season five like it's dumb and <sighs> whatever <laughs> okay so honestly i'm going to say this right now before we get into our first topic which is coop and patience um, Coop didn't really do anything this episode, actually. So should we even talk no. about her? Nah, yeah, no. she didn't. She no, she, she didn't, didn't do anything. anything. Well, yeah, besides being supportive to um Spencer, yeah. but other than that, no. Yeah. Oh, and right. Oh, and running her big ass mouth. We're gonna get her in a minute. <laughs> um, but I'm we're gonna get into Billy when we get to Olivia because yeah. I don't understand why they're trying to make it seem like Billy is just like this amazing father and man <laughs> when he has not been. Um, so we need to cut that shit out right now. Yeah, I actually okay. have some stuff to say about that too. When yeah, uh, we I, get there. yeah, okay. Well, so I, know, I love Billy. I love Billy, but yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So let's get into Coop and Patience. Now I'll let you go. I'll, whatever you got to say about either, you go ahead first. Bro, I don't care about <laughs> <laughs> Patience or all of this, bro. Like, I don't even I don't care about Ryan, bro, helping her. Like learn how to fight. Talking about oh, lift these boxes, bro. I don't care about none of this. I, <laughs> um, I mean, look, a tweet the about that. Counts, the thought counts. It's not. It's a nice gesture, but bro, I don't care. Like, no, it's not even a good gesture. Because mind you, he's a billion. <laughs> he's a billionaire. Word yeah. on the curb. He said he has like eleven to twelve businesses, right? Yeah. So he's so Layla shouldn't worry because he's about that life. So why do we not have anybody to carry them fucking boxes? Yeah, for Yeah, where you? the workers are at? Yeah. Where are the like yeah. people you are supposed to yeah. hire for the job? Like, I, mm -hmm. I've never seen it. I doubt there's ever an, a billionaire owner that actually does the stocking at whatever place they own. I exactly. I, I, I didn't, there's no way. Maybe or, when they first start somewhere or something like that. Maybe, but I I don't know. Maybe or or him it. or him serving alcoholic beverages to minors. They're twenty. Yeah, I always forget that there's so much. They're actually not even twenty one yet. Yeah, yeah. So like so. I just don't care about Coop or Patience. I don't understand how Coop... I'm just going to get on Coop real quick. I don't understand why she has a big-ass mouth. Because why are you telling... <laughs> why are you telling everybody about Olivia saying that it didn't feel like home when she wasn't talking about Spencer in particular? Yeah. She's talking about LA, which is a bigger thing, which is like that, you know, like some people like be like, I can't move because this is home. This is where I'm at. That's, that's what she's referring to. She basically referred to like LA was a place that she lived in her whole life. So now she's like realizing that she can possibly live in another country, another oh, state. Yeah. Like she's not saying that whatever people that she's here, she don't fuck with. She's not talking about y'all. The fact that you even sat there ran your mouth, <laughs> but you can't even tell patience your feelings. We're at a loss of direction right now. Patience. You're blowing me because last episode, <laughs> last episode, she was like, I'm good. I'm this bitch. I don't need to worry about anything. I'm perfectly yeah. fine. But now she's suddenly shook. She's scared. Now she's so furious that Miko might come out. Yeah. Like, like, what the fuck is Layla and I'm supposed to do when you keep talking about this? You have yeah. to continue living. You had a year <laughs> and four months to a year and three months to process this. And it feels yeah. like this shit just happened yesterday. Like it feels like we had a year jump, but we're still on last year shit. I don't understand that. Yeah, I Why feel like it... yeah, I don't know. It's it's crazy that like she she I don't know. She needs to keep doing it off screen, keep going to classes and fighting. Go lift some weights, you know. Go to the gym, like go to the gym. Literally just lift and all that, and then you know, like maybe we see her in like some self defense class here and there. You know, like that'd be that's fine. Um, 
they can make it like a group activity. Everybody goes, literally everybody in the vortex goes and stuff, something like that. Then that'd be cool. But like, bro, I don't want to see her lifting boxes, bro. Don't ever put that in there again. I bet they better not open up next episode <laughs> with her carrying boxes around. They better not. <laughs> they bro. will. They go, they're gonna they're gonna have her fight, they're gonna have her punching um water bags in the in the bar. <laughs> The bar gonna be the bar. The yeah. Layla is about to become a um, tutorial class, bro. Oh my gosh, yeah, like, nah, that was like just... patience. Like patience is probably the worst storyline of this whole show right now. Like it's actually it's actually insane that like you somehow these writers made Coop and Layla. I mean Coop and Layla. Coop and Patience go a three sixty on singing to become both traumatized <laughs> by almost getting like, they got the same storyline they're like rappers singers full-on thriving oh, apparently man. then they almost get killed and then they're all like i'm so traumatized like now i gotta make everybody's problem like it's just it's just ridiculous patience the type of person that will fuck up a whole mood like she'll make like we'll be sitting there and she'll do something and the whole mood just changes like she will met like keep her somewhere else let her train let her do whatever she needs, but I just don't understand how we had Ryan be the ascension initiator. Mind you, yeah. Layla got Layla got a nine millimeter. Should they, they should have helped Patience get one? Like Patience, you can't fight. You're from Crenshaw. Like I don't. You probably you didn't get in fights in school. I don't know how you just don't know how to fight. But if she does, obviously learn how to fight. Ain't there a certain limit where you can't even use those abilities on the streets, anyways? Yeah. Yeah. So, like, what's the point? Like, she can't box the shit out of Miko to the point that she can get arrested. <laughs> so, it just, it just defeats the purpose, man. Well, look, they could just easily just hire a security guard for patients yeah. or something like that, bro. Like, yeah. just do that. Like, mm -hmm. something. I don't know. You know, you have, she's a celebrity. Yo, just have preach be her security guard yo perfect <laughs> no we don't need preach back here yo i actually i My, didn't even notice that he hasn't been in the episodes yo Ray it's preach only back, been two. Bro. yeah i know but like yo i miss my boy preach yo like he got to continue billy's legacy yo like they were in that school they were in that school they need to you know no, <laughs> don't break, don't break that man back i think he's coming back regardless like i think i saw i think i saw him behind the scenes don't I mean, if he, it, I mean, not right now, because we don't even have our foot into the storyline yet. Cause they're that's already true. pissing me off. They're already pissing me off. So that's for Coop and Patience. Because next yeah. we can do um Jordan and Layla. Uh, the I just no Jordan is the worst, bro. I hate Jordan right now. He is annoying, man. <laughs> Can't even wait for me to say that. <laughs> <laughs> no, honestly, I was gonna. I was exhaling because. I saw the trailer for next week. Yeah, that, trailer, that, that um, promo was crazy. That promo and, was crazy. And and they have Layla dancing with Ryan. And I just find it crazy. I just find it crazy. Like, Ryan don't seem trustworthy at all. Yeah. Like, he seems like... I, I just I just can't trust this man. Like, first of all, he looks like he's fucking 30, 40. <laughs> he, like, somehow he's rich. He has successful businesses, but he's never there. He's always with Layla. Yeah. He he. We don't see nobody working there. Like we don't see nobody working as bartenders. We don't see people unpacking. Like I literally feel like he's just there for inks for Jordela. But they should have kept the cafe, the cafe, bro. Because I feel like it, this place is going out of business. It, like, I, bro, we never I see know. nobody. I... Every time they would go to the the cafe, like and all that stuff, it was packed. People were going in and out of there. Yeah, but was... I don't. I don't know. It's... But I don't know. I don't think I... is Layla fully open though. Like I, I thought they were still getting everything situated. I don't know. I, 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 thought, I thought that grand opening was patience thing. I thought that was like the opening. Yeah. And I all think that, I, I yeah, know. I thought it, I thought it was like as in like opening for her, but not initially for opening the place. Mm, I just I, I still know. feel like it, I still I feel like it's still kind of just her getting used to everything because like how Coop said, you know, she's like, Oh, I'm happy that you didn't like change it fully. But once again, maybe that's the point of like watching her build up her brand, kind of like how with Piper on Charmed, where she had like the P3 and she had to like mm. obviously was kind of empty for a minute. Yeah. So maybe it's like that, but Honestly, with this Jordala thing, I know they're doing this miscommunication trope. I know they're going to. I obviously feel like it was going to happen at some point, specifically if we're giving a two-year jump 
so they're having this like oh well jordan he's looking for venues he's he's very like excited for the wedding and layla's like not really paying attention she's not really worrying about it because she's not she's worried about she's not worried about what's happening in the future she's worrying about what's happening now and that divide and then with, like with layla dealing with patience and you know layla's and then just herself in general and then jordan dealing with football and you know the storage situation there's going to be the disconnect and honestly for me if they do break up whatever and most likely they are going to get together later on and get married like they're just going to be they're, they're just doing it they're just doing this for angst like to see if they're going to make it but they're going to make it i just feel like they're trying too much like last episode it was ryan telling jordan oh maybe you should talk to your fiance yeah. and this one they're having like layla's not want to talk about wedding stuff and that is more so jordan that's the most excited one I, and then now the trailer for next week, like there's just no way for me to even believe <laughs> that something that would happen when last season they were fully on the same page. So right now, I'm just gonna let I'm just gonna see what's gonna happen. Honestly, like I'm not I'm not dragging my good sis Layla and I'm not dragging my good my good sir Jordan. Like <laughs> I just I I'm just gonna have to see what's gonna happen. I honestly want to save my frustration for next episode because the episode was so disappointing that I even forgot what was happening. Yeah, nah. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna hold you. Like I just forgot what was happening. So I don't even know if Layla did anything besides like not talking about the venue, her getting up at at you know when they were talking. And that's it. Oh, and her. Oh, they were talking about not um about moving in. Yeah. I think I know people were saying that that felt like it was pulled out of the ass. But honestly, Layla kind of right. Not in the sense of like not moving in with him, be moving in with every fucking body. Yeah. First true. of all, first of all, y'all have y'all was we had the Baker's house, which is now a murder ground. <laughs> um, we got the beach house, which. When I get on Asher and Jamie, because you why are y'all in? Say nothing, don't say nothing bad about my ship. My ship why are elite. y'all in the beach house with that loud ass baby? That baby scared the shit out of me, and I wasn't even there. <laughs> you got you got them. You got every couple in there. Like, yeah. what if Layla wants to escape the vortex, like how Olivia escaped in London? Like, what if she wants just a place for her and Jordan? Jordan trying to move her into a house where it has everybody and their mom. Like you think she want to move into a house with I everybody think else? She would live. I do think if like she said she wants to just live with him, I think he would be okay with just getting yeah, an apartment I, or something. I, I think. I yeah. think he would. I yeah. literally, I literally think she if if she. I mean, obviously she gave us a reasoning to why she didn't want to move in, but I think if he asked to move into a different place, she would probably be like, okay, let me think about it, because yeah. I just don't. I just don't. I know that she's more so worrying about like you know trying to redo what her mom and dad did which honestly her dad was trash so i don't but even know why she's trying i don't to even do believe that. there's no way that they i don't believe it that, nah, i don't believe no it i don't believe it live together bro. I, there's I, no way i don't believe that like how <laughs> trash her dad was yeah like i don't, yeah. I, don't I, I haven't forgotten how trash her pappy was so for this like <laughs> she wants to re she wants to do what they did Nah. Why would we even want to do that when he lived? He was a playboy. He was rich. Like, there's no way that exactly. I don't think I don't believe it. I don't waited. believe that. I, nah, I don't believe I, that. I don't like, believe, they yeah. definitely them writers to do that shit in because Layla. Why would Layla want to follow in foot of her? Um, and we never her heard her say anything about she wants to be like her parents. I, yeah. I mean, I guess like the her mom stuff. more so. Yeah, I, yeah. So I don't know. I don't yeah, know. I, just, I just like she never talks like she has we have moments where she talks about her family but i've never seen her really want to re replicate moments yeah. of her her parents history when her dad is trash and he left a bad taste <laughs> in her mouth like i just find it hard to believe oh. i'll never forgive him bro for bringing in china bro china bro that's <laughs> and talking about some shit from crenshaw like oh my god bro. we lost i just watched lost that her. episode like a few days ago too because i always why have it, always have it in the background and it came up with that it's like <laughs> Bro, no, because that rap song, yo, yeah, and, the then, trash. And, and then he and then he like continued to date like yeah. other other artists of his, and then he also then he tried to get engaged to one of them, and then he screwed over patience. Yeah, like he was sleeping with that girl and that took patience to song. Yeah, yeah, he, yeah, yeah, like he what? Wild. Like he he's wild. not like like the moving thing. I just feel like is a dumb a dumb reason to why she would want to do that. 
Because one, I think moving in together before you get officially married is a good thing because you can learn oh, yeah. if y'all are compa- if y'all are compatible living with each other. The last thing you want is to be oblivious and and prepared a wedding for two years and then y'all mm. move together and Jordan's a fucking slob. Yeah, plus like, they've been together for a year and or something, right? Mm-hmm. They, yeah, yeah, so it, it, it's been almost year. probably two years or something mm-hmm. around there. Exactly. So like, I think that would be the the right step to live with the person that you're gonna marry in a few years um, yeah and how, yeah and how to find balance like are y'all, are y'all gonna be able to both be at home at the same time or yeah who's gonna be more in the house doing the cleaning list like who's gonna be what like if y'all have on and off days if y'all don't have a maid or whatever yeah. how are you going to balance things like how much space we're going to have per storage like this is stuff that you need to worry about besides just the wedding yeah we're about the house <laughs> yeah who's moving into who's moving in with each other like what houses what, what rooms like let alone we got Jasher over here doing last minute moving decisions. You need to be prepared just but beyond just the, the wedding. And I feel like Layla's kind of just not thinking about this stuff while Jordan, yeah. he's the one that's trying to think ahead because book but, but, a venue. Wait, wedding, wedding, venue, like that's yeah, getting you're, a venue. Supposed to, you're supposed to book that super far out because I, mm-hmm. I hear that they fill up really quickly. So, like, yep, they do. So, I'm like, you're supposed to look at them. So, like, Two years out, but I don't know. Exactly. She, is, she hasn't. She has not want to do that at all. Yeah, because you got book venues. You got to book maybe like you know caterers, chefs, people to make your cake, see yeah. arrangements, decorations, um, singers if you having them or like pastors, we're having them like. Bro, say, we about like, to have oh. cooping patients in there. The, at the 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 music guest. Yep. That's definitely gonna happen. That's the no, because right I see it. It's I right see. There. I see, yeah. I see right patients there. singing. Yep. I see patients singing. So I want some. This is for my bestie Layla. <laughs> and then and then we could go and walk through the door like. And no, then she bitch. go out the stage. It's yo. Know. <laughs> oh my um, gosh! But since we did Layla, we could talk about Jordan. Um, you had you had an outburst. No, so actually, I... no. I'm just playing. I was just playing. But like Jordan, it was a little bit annoying in this episode because. I don't understand why he's still jealous of Spencer and like I get I think he uh, he is valid for being mad at Liv when but like her starting that book and getting a publisher and all that stuff before she even told him so she was gonna do it whether he said yes or no that's how I think because I don't know it's just why she's yeah. that far out but I think mm-hmm. he's right to be was right to be mad at the beginning and all that stuff but um yeah, I don't know. This whole Spencer yeah. and Jordan stuff, man. Yeah, honestly. Oh, wow, it's so annoying, man. Honestly, I think it's, I think what what Jordan does is that he holds things eternally. Like, you know, kind of feeling like, I feel like he projects instead of just saying things. So, like, whoever is in the line of fire, that's who gets his his emotions at that time. Yeah. I, I, I think with Jordan, he's tired of being the quarterback but not getting an attention, so he holds it in. And the fact that, like, you know, him as a quarterback, him losing his dad and then, like, finding out that his sister's writing an article about his father without telling him um, or that, you know, his, like, you know, his friend, Spencer, whatever, he's getting the attention. He's not. Um, and that, like, now we got a coach that's putting 100% faith in him after he got Kenny into basically this team. Yeah. Um, and then also finding, like, this other coach, this other guy, which I find sus in the degree. Bro, but I'm trash, just, he's, he's sus. I think he's so sus, too. <laughs> yeah, like, I just don't believe there's no way you can have two football team and um, football coaches that are completely just on opposite spectrums of where they need to be in agreement. Yeah, you can't. Um, there's no yeah. way. That would not work. The way yeah. he's going behind his back and talking to Jordan mm-hmm. before he play, nah, that wouldn't yeah, that um, wouldn't happen. Yeah, and and it's just a thing because it's like you would think y'all would work as a team, and like yes, I mean it is a good thing because Kenny, I don't like Kenny. I, no, I'll get to him when I talk. Really? I, I don't get. I, I'll I'll get to him when I get to Spencer, but <laughs> what Kenny does is he goes like I'm not even a football, I'm not even a sports person. But he goes for the obvious. Like Spencer's, yeah. the, he's he's the he's the main attraction. He's the main one in the field. He's the main one everybody focuses on. He's he's the one that everybody watches. And so he uses Spencer for every game plan, and not even use his quarterback. Yeah, that's not smart. Yeah. That's not smart. And then you don't even and you don't even intermingle them. So you can be like, okay, Spencer, you do this one, then we switch, and then we do it. Like he doesn't change it. He completely puts his whole life on Spencer. Um and. Then you have somebody putting faith in Jordan and Jordan starts getting points, starts racking up. Yeah. And and honestly, I feel like with him, 
the jealousy thing comes from just feeling like, you know, like maybe I need to be better. Maybe I need to hard. Like it's like the same shit that he's been dealing with for six <laughs> seasons, but it's just different. It's just different. It just, they just angle it different ways. So every time he feels some type of way about himself, they push it to where it's like, oh, he got it. He got to be mad. But he got to be about Spencer. It got to be about it. It has <laughs> yeah. to be about Spencer. When it could be because at that moment, he's feeling something. So he projects onto Spencer, but maybe not. Because last time, like, and then, like obviously, they they do certain things to make you be like, okay, maybe it is Spencer. Because then last episode, he went to tell Olivia, he was like, yeah, I'm kind of jealous of Spencer, but then I realized, why would I be right? Right? Yeah. This episode, Olivia says, oh yeah, I told Spencer about the article before you. Exactly. So yeah, so it's like so it's like so it's like they're trying to make it seem like okay, well maybe it just maybe he's just jealous of Spencer. When I just feel like it's an internal thing that Jordan's suffering with, and whoever's yeah. around him is going to get it because he also came at Olivia in a certain degree about what, the article. He came at like um obviously like he, the jealousy, the little weird, littleness about Spencer. He had these little comments. Honestly, I'm going to see what happened next week. <laughs> because I saw what Spencer said about I'm the better I'm I'm the you know I'm the better one on the oh, team. Yeah, he's wild for that. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm just like the last I just don't feel like this should not be a are you team Iron Man? Bro, or are you Captain team Captain America? America? <laughs> there should not be a point where we're on the same team and I have to and figure by the way, out I'm team Iron Man though too, so yeah. <laughs> and, wh- and which one on which one is team iron man in this scenario then that's Spencer. Spencer is the <laughs> let alone that let alone that jordan his whole like the whole football team besides spencer and jordan are trash let's be honest they're all like they're 50 and yeah. i feel like they don't do anything like i feel like they don't carry their weight anyways and it's always just and instead of them highlighting other football players like remember isaiah that they just completely forgot about like oh yeah instead yeah. of talking about these other football players they only worry about the battling beef between jordan and spencer at this point stop having to be friends then if we gotta go through this shit every season let's just stop having to be friends yeah because it, it and I may, and maybe Jordan feels like he doesn't have anything because Spencer has he's he's getting the attention of football. He has his sister, like you know, he had his dad's attention. Maybe that's why. But we should not be going through this shit every season. <laughs> yeah, that was that would have been something for like season one or season two. Mm-hmm. Like I don't think we we're, we should be so much past and further past. I just, that, I, just like. I just feel like he's probably just racking up like annoyance from everything like what's like with the wedding and like the, the not moving in thing and like and then also like the article and then the football team and like maybe even frustration towards everything i think is that i don't feel like diving into it fully because i feel like we're so early in this season that i in ever to writing this episode which is not giving to me regardless yeah. <laughs> so i don't i don't honestly don't feel like i just don't want to dive into jordan right now until next week because that's i think where everything starts going skyrocket and then i can probably process what emotions is he really feeling? Because I feel like this episode, I cannot tell you <laughs> besides what I'm assuming. And I even then I'm just like, it can't be something that was three seasons old. Yeah. So um next we could talk about Jasher. Now let me tell you something right now before I get to Jasher. <laughs> <laughs> Why did Asher confirm to us that he still talks to his trash dad? But yet, and and he even says that they also babysit. Uh, yeah. But they can help you find a house. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, yeah. I why don't, I don't would know. Why would you move into Billy's house as if you're a legacy of his? I mean, him and Billy were close, though. He had a really good. They got. Yeah, he, he had a really good. They got like, close. They got close to season five. Yeah, that's a that's enough though. And he's coach and he's coach Astor since he was what a freshman in high school. So like, you know, I mean he was always pretty close. Plus he dated Liv, you know. He has that. He has that. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. okay. So Jordan, Layla, I mean Jordan Layla. Jordan, Liv, Astor. Who do you think will be getting the house? Right, Surely well, not think, his nice kids. I don't think neither one of them need a house either. So yeah, but they, like they wouldn't want to live in. They wouldn't want to live there. I don't yeah, think. Yeah, yeah, no, because Crenshaw, we we, yeah. we literally <laughs> started to show off with somebody getting murked in Crenshaw. Yeah. So why was it, that, and that's what gets me is that not only are y'all rotating places and y'all trying to keep Crenshaw alive in this show, yeah. but y'all are forgetting that there is shot there's bullets that have no names to them, and you're going to have a new mom. A new pair, a new parent couple 
move it to Crenshaw because yeah. hey, we we don't like you do you even know if y'all can afford it? But I don't I don't blame Asher for this. I think Jamie is the reason for this. I, I think Asher was fine with staying at the beach house and like having people yeah. help and all that stuff. I think because just Jamie, he's trying to you know, do right by Jamie and like move them because she's feeling like she's not going to be a good parent because everybody keeps helping them. So she wants mm-hmm. to do it on her own. Yeah. So I maybe, can't wait. Really maybe it's Asher, temporary. But, maybe it's temporary. Like maybe yeah. they're just, maybe they're just doing it for the time being. Like, I yeah. Hope so, Cause I don't, I feel like this would take Asher away from everybody. And I don't want that. I don't want, I want them to still be with the whole vortex mm-hmm. and all that stuff. So. Like low yeah. below key, you would think that they'll move to another place in Beverly Hills or something. Like they chose, but then Crenshaw, again, which is, I don't think that they were well, Beverly Hills. I'm sure that's like crazy expensive. So I doubt they have like, maybe, that, maybe, you know. So okay, I guess, I guess, free. Well, okay, this is free. This is free too. So like everywhere is free. Everywhere is free. <laughs> I think, I think Laura is just throwing money at every kid in the houses. Like yeah, she's paying she, for the beach house, she's paying she for the baby's house, food, all that stuff. Like, yeah. she's, she's, she's paying yeah. for three houses at this point. Like, how much did Billy have to where he but then again, houses? Spencer, Jordan, they got to be making NIL money, so I'm sure that they contributing money mm. and all that stuff. So, mm-hmm. I, I guess, <laughs> I mean. Like I guess we on rotation, and is is the beach house near Beverly Hills? Yeah, I think it's in Beverly Hills. So yeah. so so if so in, in order for Jordan, I mean in Jordan, order for Jazz, I mean Jazz here, Jazz here to get anywhere near the beach house, they have to take like a couple buses, which is maybe a couple car rides. Yeah, that's kind of well. I don't really know if they have a car, but yeah, I don't exactly. So like they're gonna have to get a couple buses there. Like are they gonna just be in the Crenshaw? That's one thing I wish they would do on this show. I want to see them drive in the cars. Like I want to see like. Them have like all the couples in the car going to something or doing we something. We haven't had that. Fine. We haven't had that since like season three. I believe, yeah, right? I don't even remember. Yeah, I don't remember. You, you, oh my god, you, you know what I think they're gonna do? Like, what? It, I think it's gonna piss me off. <laughs> is if they have Gray start showing up at these motherfuckers' house in oh, Crenshaw. Oh my god, yeah. where is her husband at? Yeah, I I said it in my reaction. I miss Carter. I want to see Carter. Like, uh, I uh, I kind of miss Carter. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't want to see him. I don't want to see Grace. I actually don't want to see Grace. Like I don't want to see Grace. No, like, but I think I think that would be what Spencer would need. It, it's kind of an extension from Billy. Uh, that's what we thought Kenny might be, but I think Carter could be. I think Carter could be uh, like mm-hmm. like a a good person to talk to. I think Carter has good advice. And all I, that. I, I'll I'll save that for when I get to Jordan, <laughs> I mean when I get to um Spencer because I, I I gotta talk I gotta talk to Kenny alone at this point uh <laughs> literally but yeah but, jasher um i don't know i like where the story is going like going i want to see i feel like something's gonna happen with jamie because she i feel like she's getting scared really scared so imagine she just leaves yo i would hate that because that's my ship so leave like, yeah you I, know i just i just feel like there may be a I feel like she may like start distancing herself because i feel like with, with um Asher, he's more optimistic about everything. He's more of a go with the flow type of person, and he's trained. He's oh, he's okay with learning about it. But I think due to Jamie taking more of the parental responsibility, because she may obviously stop working, yeah. um, to just to make sure that you know her baby leaves for the first couple of years are fine. She may feel like she's alone, and it may cause a problem between them. But right now, I just will have to see. I feel like I don't want to predict in the future when only like eleven more episodes left. But I do feel like how she acted this episode alone, it was just mainly because she wants to really learn how to um, be a parent parent and um, and not have her friend and not ruin her friends like lives with this. Because once again, her son, I mean, AJ's ruining. I mean, like it's crying at night. So like you never you you can never predict when your child wakes up. Yeah. And so to have the baby cry and wake up the friends who are in college and are football players and they have to wake up early in the morning. Anyways, she doesn't want to take that guilt of like feel like she's ruining their sleep or she's ruining their time or she feels like, oh, well, maybe. Maybe I should like, like, I feel like she's doing this so she can give her friends obviously the life that they deserve right now, which yeah. is peace. Even though they had a child, their friends shouldn't lose their sleep or basically become their pa- um, parents as well, yeah. in a sense. Um, so I feel like it's just more so towards them having their help, their homes back because you maybe feel like she intruded with having them all be there. Um, maybe I'll move back later on when she gets everything handled. But I feel like right now it's just a learning decision, and I actually yeah. like it. I feel like it's realistic to have um struggle, like not struggling parents, but parents trying to get in the the rhythm of when the when their child wakes up, when their child yeah. goes to sleep. Um, them talking about teething, which is definitely a serious thing. Um, and finding out the right tools to you know help with their child crying and um 
how to handle it without losing sleep or finding a balance between who wakes up with this. So I like it. And I feel like I'm even shocked that I'm more intrigued than their storyline right now with how everything is going with everything else. And I feel like I'm more interested in Asher than I've ever been. I don't think I've ever been interested in Asher (laughs) until he got with Jamie. So I'm intrigued with that, but I'm just going to wait and see what they do so I can micro decide if they're (laughs) what, what decision it is. But so far, they're good. I mean, I love to see their relationships as a couple, their their relationships, that their dynamics, and them just talking about their child and how they act is just it's just cute to watch. Yeah. And I and I enjoy it. So you know, just sure y'all eating down, but there's just no way that like they got this fucking house, like this Crenshaw house. Like I was just appalled. <laughs> but that's like, why he asked Laura. He's like, I need a favor, so you know, it's a yeah. favor, you know. Yeah, yeah, it's given temporary favor. It best to be a temporary <laughs> favor because no what's one. What's his has name? What's this. his name? Billy's dad gonna come and be like, what the heck? <laughs> Wait, oh, what's it called? What's it? Um, yeah, I what's forgot his name? name. I forgot his name, but like he's gonna is come. Willie? Is it? Is it W B or Willie? Yeah, yeah, it might be Willie. Yeah. Yeah. He's gonna come back and be like, Well, what the hell is going on in my right, house? He, right. He'll be like, Hey, what the hell is going on here? Is this Airbnb? Is that what's given? <laughs> like, what what if they what if they paying to live in there? Like, maybe they'll like give <laughs> maybe they give crazy. Laura some money. But um yeah, that's all we got for right now. Um lastly, let's yeah. end it off with um Spencer and Olivia. And we'll we'll tell you how we feel about that. Cause <sighs> <we're> sure. <laughs> Okay, so what do you want to start with first? Do you want to start with Olivia and the in the book, or do you want to start yeah, with? Yeah, uh... we can start with Olivia. Okay. Olivia. Okay, you can go ahead. Uh, you can go ahead. I don't even know really what the like. Uh, I think Jordan was okay for being mad about it. I don't know why she wants to do this so soon. Honestly, uh, the fact that how she got the publishing deal that quickly, um, but she said that her friend, I guess. Helped her, Ashley. Mm-hmm. I still be starting to meet Ashley, yo. I'm like, who is that? <laughs> um, Bad like, connections, apparently. Yeah. Um, I just don't understand why she wants to do it. It's only been a year. Like, at least, like, you know, like, wait a little bit longer. And just, like, she's still a student, too. So, like, I feel like there could be more pressing things to write about than Billy at this moment. Even though I love Billy. But I feel like that's like something that you could do when you're a more established writer or something like that. I, I feel, um, yeah, bro. I don't, I don't know. And I'm surprised Laura was so okay with it, honestly. Um, but yeah, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I, I I just feel like there's honestly just crazy that all the articles that were like Olivia is doing is like the most. Sp- very intense ones we mm. went from the intenseness of like a football i mean a football coach doing corrupted stuff behind the scenes we've now we're getting to a hectic bio, a biography about billy which is crazy because you know i mean i'm not saying that there is a limit to writing about deceased yeah. um people like you know but i just think you bear like people barely mourned and yeah. I mean, maybe and maybe, and maybe that's her process is to like you know be able to write about you know write about him to kind of fully process that but she can write about it but just not yeah don't, don't take it to the publishing right now yeah like, i just wait. feel like i just feel like if she does do that she has to put everything such as that affair with grace as well yeah like the she bad has to stuff. put everything yeah she had to put everything but, it's, she, but to- it is, she doesn't even know all the bad stuff that i'm sure he, like did, he's done you yeah. know like like she doesn't know about him like I, maybe she i can't remember but remember when he like did the drug test for he, Jordan? yeah i was about to say about but to, like yeah. i don't think she, or like when he hit the drugs for asher and stuff like that mm-hmm. yeah like she don't, don't know like, she don't, don't know everything like, like you imagine so I, yeah I don't know. like you imagine her publishing this book and then somebody be like I, 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 actually he used <laughs> to do crack on the block like you're opening up basically discussions about billy because billy is not a nice guy and since we're talking about this now i don't like how these writers are trying to retcon billy as if bully was so such a masterpiece of a father i do love billy though i love billy i, I, I feel like the show is not the same without same. billy yeah. I, I, I think he's too huge character so i miss billy a lot i miss mm-hmm. like i don't think the show has been the same since yeah. we lost him it hasn't yeah. been and i like i like him as a character and i feel like him being on is a big piece and maybe like at that time in season five, I was over dramatizing how much I want him gone because he, obviously the dynamic of the they show took changed. Over yeah, he took his ass, and 
but I just feel like it's impossible for me to believe that this, like, he grew to become a good dad, but he has had one, season one, the four flaws, even in season four, he was beefing with Spencer because yeah. Spencer went to Crenshaw. Yeah. This man was doing, he was doing stuff for the, like, you wrote an article about how tra- how um the coach was doing crazy stuff behind the scenes. Your father was doing crazy stuff behind oh, the yeah. scenes. Oh, yeah, he was illegally recruiting, you yeah, know? Legally, doing... like, yeah, so, like, but, like, nah, Billy has I done, love like, Billy, so Billy, yeah, like, Billy has done some stuff as well, so, like, you can't try to bring justice for a football team and then your dad you're writing about it your dad and he's done some corrupted stuff as well and like i just don't i don't like i feel like if it helps her uh, mourn him yeah by all means i'm happy i hope that see her thriving as a writer but for me i don't care like billy i can't take billy serious so writing about an article about billy when we've seen what he's done and she barely saw what he's done because he barely was there when she like was relapsing he barely paid attention to her yeah um like it took like spencer being there for her to be like for her to realize that somebody actually cared for her it's just no way billy's getting a fucking book written about him i just can't i can't see it when he's done when he hasn't been there for his kids like jordan has suffered from trying to prove that he was the best son to this man he's tried to bust his ass on football on the football court for him when it wasn't even his passion at the time these kids both tried to seek validation from their dad and he was never there he had an affair he cheated broke the dynamic up are you going to write all that in this this book? <laughs> like, are we going to see Grace or is Grace going to come by? And be like, um, are you going to add that affair? Let me there? proofread this real quick. Let me proofread this. <laughs> like, like I, I, like you. We have. Like, she has to have everything, yeah. unless she, and, unless she's going to write about the accomplishments of what he done and how you know he ended up you know per, um, influencing her life and why he's her hero. But if it's a biography. I don't know how it's gonna work. I don't know how it's gonna work because that oh, cheating, yeah. that's cheating is gonna have to be in there. So um I will just see. Um hopefully we see Ashley. I don't really care about Ashley as a person. I don't see them as anything threatening. Oh, so oh. just come if you if you you hook my sister up with a good deal, you might as well come, you might as well show up. <laughs> let's let's yeah, show up. Cause uh if you're a guy, my boy Spencer got some good hands for you. <laughs> Oh my god! Every time you do that, hit y'all. Yeah, yeah. That's what you gonna do. <laughs> I need gonna bring that shit up. Like honestly, I was waiting for you to bring that punch. <laughs> yo, they need to reenact it. They have to have another moment like that. Right, since, right. Since next Jordan, week, since next they're week. beefing, yo, I need it. I next need week, it. next week, Tristan gonna be like, yeah, because I'm better than you. Jordan gonna try to hit him. He gonna be like, wow. He might. Like, like, that's what you want. That's what you want. I, mean, I need. I need. I don't want it. I need them to just be serious. You're our twenty. Yeah act like it this is not high school but last let's talk about spencer he's stupid now, man. Now, he's stupid no i <laughs> now i know we've had we, we we've been wanting this moment for a long time which was spencer putting himself first and not and not basically having that savior complex that every that the you know the therapist talked about in season three and we've seen him that continuously like have those moments where you're like, yo, like forget it, Spencer, forget them, let them do their own thing. Like, don't don't even try to help. Yeah. This way, I'm happy he put himself first, but I don't know how it's gonna work now because he kind of screwed himself over. With, I mean, even though he knew already knew we already knew he was gonna go to the NFL, like yeah. we, already been, we already knew that. But eight months early to confirm. Yeah, and I mean, I watch that, a lot of sports. You never see players declare right after the first game this early. They usually, like, this tournament, They whenever they lose in the tournament, then, like, the next few days, they'll declare something like that. They'll announce it, but not during the season. I don't think I've ever seen that. Uh, maybe it's rare. Unless they're a senior, then everybody knows that they're gonna go to the draft yeah, or whatever. And, but, and, yeah, and he's a junior, But he still has a year after that, so... I don't he just put way more way too much pressure on himself. And I hate that he let like the reporters and like all the media attention be the reason that he announced that. Like he didn't have to announce it. Like he could have waited. Like there was no rush. And I, I do like Kenny for saying you just put all that pressure on you for nothing. So yeah. But yeah, I just feel like yeah, I I I'll let you do that. I'm gonna talk about Kenny because that's my problem. <laughs> my problem with Kenny is that I don't believe he has a dynamic with Spencer. Like, I feel like yeah. in this year, we haven't, like, I, hmm, let me just progress this. <laughs> Jordan got you here, right? You put all this pressure onto Spencer. You basically made him your number one, like, person you're going to do these um, things with. You 
put all this you the one that put all this pressure on Spencer by letting him be the main ones in all your game plans. Yeah. You told Spencer to to talk about him accepting the media light and like him having a better pro handling of it. He ends up giving them what that he said to do by the end of the episode, and now you're yelling at him. <laughs> I can't, I can't like he they, they they try to make him like this Billy to Spencer, and it's hard to yeah, he's not, he won't, he's he not. can't be Billy, yeah, nah, not. he can't because their dynamic is nowhere near, like they There's don't even have the conversations like that. They don't, nah, they don't talk. Like, yeah, if anything, Spencer would have went to Billy to talk about his decision to NFL and then maybe went to Olivia or vice versa, yeah, but like Kenny, we we, we did it one year, we did it one year jump, we barely saw y'all, and I really do want five. Kenny to be a good coach, I really do want them to have a good, he's dynamic, hard headed, but he, I feel like yeah, he's hard headed because he should, he should listen to the other assistant coach, like, he should listen mm-hmm. to him, so then he won't go behind his back, even though I hate that coach, that he's, he's annoying, yeah. but. He has some good points. Like, yo, we need to switch it up. We need to. Yeah, get he's more not people switching involved. it up. Like, he's not switching it up. But then he gets mad that everything doesn't go his way. Yeah. You like, and that long we haven't seen the dynamic with him and Spencer. Like, we just got a year jump, so we don't know how close y'all. Are. We don't believe it. We didn't see it. So you yelling at Spencer trying to clock his T. I'm like, we don't even know you. Yeah. How you gonna clock a t- How you gonna clock a T that you started? <laughs> Maybe if you spiced it up the damn gameplay, Spencer wouldn't be having his damn media attention in the first place. Yep. It exactly. would it would it would have been a gradual whole team famous arc. Like you got all the football players in the background celebrating while you only ha- they only handled Spencer because you're the only one using Spencer. How can yeah. Spencer? You talking about something? Spencer got all this, all this like attention on his back. Why? Because of you. Yeah, and this could you cause didn't... him to get injured. Like that's mm-hmm. why. That's why I think it's gonna happen too. I think he's gonna like get injured to where he won't uh, be able to to declare. He's gonna have to stay till senior year because mm. they keep using him so much. I feel like something they they, oh, they oh they they put they like, put, they use him too much. Yeah, and like you imagine like, that's why it wouldn't be a fucking jealousy in this between Jordan and Spencer if you gave them both an equal chance. The whole of uh, the whole team was already jealous of both of them. Heavy on Spencer, and you just don't care. How you gonna talk about some the team, and we're gonna take attention from the team when you're only using Spencer from the fucking team? Yeah, because it's not like this team is devoid of like talent. They got a bunch of players yeah, that have the, yeah. talent, so I'm sure people. Yeah, like, are, how you, I'm sure they're not like Spencer, want... but I'm sure they're pretty good. So like, you can definitely mm-hmm. get them involved. No. Right. We yeah we we saw them being used when that new coach came in. Yeah. Like, how are you gonna have Jordan and, and Jordan and Spencer recruit these football players last season, and then you don't fucking use them? Yeah. Makes like, no what sense. Like, 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 Kenny, you're you're a joke too. Like, you can't sit here and say that Spencer is wrong for 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 saying that what he needed to say when you were like you some of these shits that you done led to this decision. Yeah. Like, how much listen to that coach and utilize Jordan? Have a distraction. It may, we, we, like, you're, you can't forget that there is fucking teams that yeah. watch these football players. Yeah. They know, they know, they, they, they are no Spencer's weaknesses. They game plan. Like, they, like, and they know. They watch. We've seen it. We remember when Jordan and Asher went to that football team in like season two or three and they watched the players play. Yeah. Like, they watch, they see, they notice. And you don't think by doing the same as playing every every football game, there's going to be a difference? No, there's going to be some people that are going to be like, oh well, I know, I know, especially like to go to his right, so <laughs> we all going to go to the right and then put two people over to the left so we can tackle him more. Like, yeah, oh, like... man, I just only thing I know is I'm happy that at least like he told Olivia, and then um, you know, he you know he had Coop there, like Coop low key hyping Spencer up, reminding me of season one. Yeah, but, like it, it was, I do it was, love like, their home. friendship, man. I yeah. like, like I, I love, I always love Coop and Spencer's friendship yeah. and all they that. that. They brought that back hardcore. <laughs> I just I just wish that Dylan was there, so it really could have been a full moment. Um, yeah, but yeah. I just feel like Grace being there, I, I'll let her slide because she's there for her son. But I'm just like you're in this <laughs> house still. Yeah, I'm surprised how how well she took uh, him declaring too. I'm surprised. Right. You know, but not, I feel like both. Uh, I feel like I'm shocked that both these parents took these big ass decisions nicely. Like Grace, yeah, taking this in, and then also with um Laura taking the book automatically. She was just like, okay, like, is is it, I mean, I'm not shocked, but I'm also like shocked that there wasn't like a couple of discussions before they agreed. But we'll just see. Yeah. Um. I just know that we'll just wait till next week. I feel like next week is the one that we're really waiting for because that trailer, <laughs> bro. Oh my the god, beef, the dancing. Yeah. That's, one thing I, that's one thing I remember from the trailer is that two two things. <laughs> that's like, it. <laughs> that's it. That's all that's I know. It. I just yes. remember the dance really like that dance. I'm like, bro, as soon as I saw that, I'm like, yo, what the hell is this? Like, and, no, and I what? think I that dress that Layla had on reminded me of like the season four dress. Like, uh. it reminded me of a season, a, a late season four dress. So I'm like, no, nah, she wild no. if that's like no. it, 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 I I like I just want to understand first of all, where's the bookness in this bar? 
Why is he still here? Yeah. <laughs> Ryan is not trusted. Like, hold, hold, fuck around. He might be like Miko's like long Yo, lost imagine. cousin, <laughs> bro. If that's Miko's long lost cousin, bro. <laughs> <laughs> like and 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 he's getting information as like he's trying he's gonna be telling he's gonna be telling he's gonna be telling Miko he's gonna go to uh, Miko in the house I mean the jail or whatever she ain't be like yo listen I'm I'm just stalking them and um uh, our patients learn how to fight so you gotta love you gotta get you gotta get your hands ready too like you imagine that like yeah. I I can imagine it happening and I'll be like I could like imagine he's just trying to get patients alone so then like he can have Miko like the meet right uh, like, right some crazy like right that. what if people like yeah I can take you to the gym center like after a certain amount of times he gets her trust up yeah. there <laughs> and, and and she's like oh, okay well me me and Ryan gonna go to the training thing that we always go to and he got Coop worrying like Coop is like what yeah. she's training and then. You know, patients show up and she's like, she's like, oh, like, hey, um, wait, what's the new area? And then Ryan's like, oh, no, we wait for it. We wait for the teacher. <laughs> then Miko comes like this. Yeah, hey, that's kind of hey, crazy. How you doing? Like, she's gonna show up. I can see that. I can see. <laughs> I can that. see it. And honestly, it would be smart. It would be smart. But then, but then it'll make Lily be like, "Oh my god!" Like me again. Like I let <laughs> she gonna take the blame again. I'm like, "Yeah, yep. let's just not do that. Let's just not have Layla feel like she caused this again." <laughs> yeah, so, no, please no. But we'll see. Um, let us know your brain for this episode. What did you like? What did you dislike? Are you tired of the Spencer versus Jordan? How do you feel about the the book? Um, how do you feel about Jasher living in the Crenshaw house where yeah. the bullets have no name? <laughs> uh, let us know, and we'll see you next week. Yeah. Yeah. See you. Peace. <laughs> <laughs>